I now invite uh, Professor Urjit Yajnik to say a few words. As Professor Jason mentioned, uh, in the first year, he was leading this effort to build this uh, institution from scratch. Uh, Professor Urjit Yajnik, as many of you may know, is a faculty member at IIT Bombay. Yes, sir. Dear Sudhir, Director, <coughs> Honorable Chief Guest, uh, my colleagues at IIT Gandhinagar and the larger IIT Gandhinagar family, uh, and the even larger family uh, consisting of any alumni who may be there in the audience, and people like myself who are there uh, associated uh, from the beginning. The story of a birth is never the story of a birth. It is the birth for people who are involved with it. And I need not say more because there are so many mothers and fathers in the audience. And uh, it was just an amazing experience. And however you put together the story and whatever reasonable framework in which you try to cast it, it eventually just looks a miracle. The story of every birth is a miracle. And so was IIT Gandhinagar. Uh, I, it is really nice to see that we have this wonderful function here. And uh, I thank the organizer for the opportunity for me to share a few words on behalf of IIT Bombay, which was charged with setting up the institution in around mid-May of 2008, and then it got going by August 2008. So to keep things short, the, the one person we have to thank the most, one entity, is the government of Gujarat, which had so much enthusiasm about bringing an IIT uh, on its uh, uh, doorstep. And uh, let me tell you from all the stories we heard, no other IIT got the kind of reception, welcome, and full-fledged support uh, that uh, IIT Gandhinagar got from the, uh, its host government. Uh, the second thing was the campus which we were offered, which was the uh, Vishwakarma Government College campus, and principal Mr. M. R. Patel is here. And it was such a pleasure working with him, because just to say one thing, I, there are so many things, but just to say one thing, when we arrived and asked him where will be the office, he said, take my office, I'm moving from here. Okay? We took his conference hall as office instead, but that is how it got going. And uh, I should say a little bit, because I wear both the hats, I had now become IIT Gandhinagar entity. So I had to look back to the mentoring institution, IIT Bombay. And IIT Bombay had a change of directors, and there was a uh, acting director, and then another permanent director, Professor Ashok Mishra, Professor Vasi, and then Professor Devang Khakkar. Each of them gave it full support. There was a blank check for me to operate on. Anything that was needed, I could just do. There was a finance officer, Mr. Verma, and he just kept me on track. I had to just consult him, but there was nothing. I didn't have to worry about any. He would whitewash everything in the end. And if I encountered any glitches, any problems, there was in the end just one very simple solution. That is to drink coffee by going to Professor Patel's office. I just had to walk in and sit down in the sofa. And he will say, so what is it today, <laughs> Yagnik Sahib? And he will get going. And then within no time, the problems would be solved. So it was just a pleasure uh, getting it going. If I really delve into the memories, there will be too many of them. So I will just end with uh, one last little vignette, which is that most of the other IITs started off in their parent IIT's campus, like Kanpur started, Jaipur, and 
uh, so on. So they all started in their own campus or Khadakpur because they had something already in Bhuvaneshwar they started. But this was the only IIT that directly started in its own uh, remote campus in the state right away. And the reason for that was that I was ready to march off on one week notice, if effectively, in the end. And that is because my spouse was here. Renu was already stationed here. Gujarat is the state from which our family hails, so the language was natural to me. And it was just a sense of commitment and giving back that I felt honored to come back and start off this institute. So thank you all very much for listening to me and giving me the question. Thank you, Professor Yalnik.